Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mary Grace Rice. Well, with river levels expected to rise, the city of St. Joseph preparing as a flood warning will be going into effect. KQ2's Alexis Cooner tells us what residents should be expecting. With the flood warning going into effect for the St. Joseph area starting Wednesday, local and national officials predicting what local residents can expect this week. Kevin Lowe, the National Weather Service, saying the flood will run through St. Joseph. Flooding downstream of St. Joe will be minor. Certainly below Kansas City will all be minor. Bill Brinton of the Buchanan County Emergency explains how much a flood could impact the area. The thing is, this is a very, very small area, and 99.9% .9 of the people in St. Joseph won't even know what happened. Because you're not going to have any flooded roads. You're not going to have any, you know, unless it rains in between now and then. This is just going to be, the river is rising, and a couple areas may get flooded. According to Brenton, the Missouri River levels are expected to raise a little over seven feet in the next couple days. Only a few areas that have no levees in place will be affected by the flooding. Brenton saying the flood will be at a moderate stage. Eileen Williamson with the United States Army Corps of Engineers reminding people what floods are capable of. Another reminder with respect to floodwaters is they are capable of picking up debris and uh, chemicals that are part of the runoff. As water levels decline, there are chances for things like uh, weak riverbanks, and so it's still not recommended to go out on those areas. Reporting in St. Joseph, Alexis Cooner, KQ2 News. And all that water raising the river levels is moving down the river from North and South Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska.